Hello and welcome to Notch for Motion Designers. I'm Emil, also known as Hard, a Tokyo-based motion and notch designer. Today I'm going to explain how I set up a light wrapping notch. Light wrapping is a compositing technique designed to, for example, blend the foreground logo and the background like this. So, in Notch I prepared this setup. You can download the DFX in the description below. So what's going on here? We have the background here, and they have the foreground down here. And here we have the alpha for the light wrap. And then it gets composited to get together over here, and here the background gets blurred. And then that image is getting composited on top of the foreground video that goes from the rendered texture to a null and then to an image 2D. So let's start with the blurring of the background here. So I'm gonna turn this off here. So if you just apply a blur here, the edges are gonna get dark because there's no pixels there. So what you do is use a transform and you scale it down to half size and then you mirror it and then you blur it. You know, this is actually the area where we, we're gonna have later, and then you scale it up again. If you want to be very nice, you can use an up sample and down sample and stuff like that too. Um, then we have the light wrap. So from the render to texture, which, you know, uh, which looks like, you, know, you see the alpha here. Uh, we create this. And let's turn this off here. I'm gonna explain step by step. So, yeah, it goes from the render to texture to, to this video now. And then I use the channel boolean and just picked picked alpha. So we don't have any other stuff. Then I do the same thing here. You know, I scale it down, and then and in the end I scale it up. Then I apply a blur, and I change it to negative. And then I actually apply another blur. And that's also negative to kind of get like two, so you get this kind of soft, like double softness thing here. Then we send this alpha here to, we, we composite it with the blurred background here. So let's check this out like this. It's important to have the copy to alpha channel here. So that works. You can see this one is, goes here. And then we send that one into a composite image here that's applied on this video null here. Let's see, like this. Now, actually, we have it bleeding over here. And um, there is, I have one with Max and I have one with Blend. That's up to you. What do you, what do you think looks nice? How much you want it to be? And uh, yeah. Then that one goes to this uh, image 2D. And yeah, that's it. Um, then of course, like if you apply some glow on top of it, it's gonna like work even better. It's kind of like it's gonna put the pixels together even better. And like some noise is always nice. And some temporal anti-aliasing is always nice too. And uh, yeah, like this is the render to texture output here so like uh, the render texture here so you can if you want you can you know like attach something else like like a video here and you see like my hand or, or actually you know, a bit transparent and you see like how the light affects it I, the logo doesn't affect it because the logo is, is you know not a background element right now but you can make it a background element if you want that Anyway, that's it. Please download the DFX file from the link in the description below.